What's up, Sunrays? It's me, Moray, with a fashion designer blog, and I am here with a 10 month natural hair update. It has been 10 months. I am coming up on a year. Let's jump into it. So, about this month, my hair does not have any weight to it. My hair literally grows straight up. The only reason it has some type of downward look to it is because I literally twist it in that motion. Some people can twist their hair, shake their hair, head, and their hair will like just fly all over the place. If I turn my head or shake my head, my hair just will go right into that in the direction that my hair <laughs> is turning. So that's cool with me. It's like a big fluffy cloud just sitting on my head or a big like stiff pillow. Cool, it's cool. I'm okay with it, fine. My hair goes in the direction that I twist it and that's fine. If, it wanna, if I wanna twist it going straight up, it's gonna go straight up. If I wanna twist it in downward motion, it'll go down, but it doesn't swing, it has no weight, cool. But this is my hair, um, a lot of mass and a lot of volume, just no weight to it. So here is a nice little length check. It's a little bit below my eyelid and that's cool. You know, I get to actually see progress by measuring it up against something. So the eye is a good like eyeballer for me to see how long it's growing every month and that's cool. So I literally just take my hair and twist it in this motion every morning. You all know this is like my go-to hairstyle. I love the messy Afro big hair look i can't wait to just have like this huge afro and this is what i do with both hands now about <laughs> this little white stuff in my hair pro tip for those of you who live in the north so what had happened was i had a photo shoot this morning and it was literally freezing outside like literally it was ice on the ground and I left the house because I was running late with damp hair and a, just a little bit of product was in my head. But the product that was in there literally froze in my hair. <laughs> so that's what that white stuff is. So we just got finished with the photo shoot. So that's frozen product in my hair. Yeah. So this is the back of my head. You know, just very thick hair. Love my little Afro. The one thing that bothered me was my hair is not in Air Force regulations. For those of you who know, I'm in the Air Force. So I had to learn how to do a wash and go to get definition. I can't wear that big Afro in the Air Force. I have to have curly hair, you know. Please everyone, be in Air Force regs. And this is my second time doing a wash and go and having like curly hair. And I can honestly say I have mastered the wash and go. It lasts me about seven days. Around day five, I'll have an afro with curly hair. So if I'm in the Air Force for longer than five days, I know at day five, I will have to do it again to make it more defined because I can't wear an afro to work. It's out of regulations, it's too big. So this is the third time I tried it and look how defined I got it. So it looks big because it's up close, but it's really not. It's very small and shrunken. But you all know I love my hair in this natural state right here. This is my go-to hairstyle. So see you all later. Bye.